Hey, we're back here with a very, very important training lesson. Uh, one that could be the very most important training lesson that you ever get. And it's something that uh, we come across over the years, time and time again, that we see killing guys gains. And uh, to set this up properly, we want you to think about something for a second because every time that you go to the gym, I guarantee you, if it's not today, tomorrow, maybe a week from now, or maybe a week in the past, you've come across more than one guy that lifts a lot of weight, that looks very, very strong because of the amount of weight that he's lifting, but yet his gains do not show it. His gains are not indicative of the amount of weight that he's lifting. There might be a very, very uh, different looking guy that has a lot more muscle on him, standing right beside him that's lifting a lot less weight. And we wanna expose why that is for you today and give you the choice as to whether or not you wanna be the guy that has the muscle or the guy that has the strength, okay? There's, there are two different things. They're not 100% related, okay? And we'll explain why, and uh, I think you'll have a lot better understanding about how to train for muscle and how to train for strength. I'm gonna pass it on to Aaron here to explain a few concepts to you. So basically, when you're in the gym and, you're, and your goal is to actually pack on a lot of size, you wanna stimulate the muscle. So that means you wanna uh, be explosive, uh, keep tension on the muscle the entire time, uh, control the negative, all the important key things that are gonna break down the muscle fibers and trigger muscular growth. So the problem is, all these guys just lifting heavy weight, they're using momentum. Momentum to actually move this weight. You need to let your muscles do all the work, not momentum. So you've seen these guys, they're, they're slugging around, you know, twice as much weight as anybody else, but they're just swinging. Um, you know, they're uh, bouncing the weight, doing things like this, um, just to you know, train their ego rather than their muscles. Well, the problem is these guys get further and further away from actually building any kind of muscle because anytime they want to lower the weights to actually train, to actually put on size, it's a huge shot to their ego. So the thing is, is to start off now. And if your goal is to pack on size, uh, take a step back and watch out for any of the key indicators uh, that are going to show that you're training with uh, momentum rather than using your muscles. One of the key terms that we have to uh, talk about here is time under tension. Okay, meaning that the actual amount of tension and load that's put on the muscle is the most important thing for actual muscle size if you had to choose one particular factor, not the amount of weight that you're moving. The fact is, is that you can make a lighter weight, for instance, a 35 pound dumbbell, feel a lot heavier to your muscle than a 50 pound dumbbell if you're just swinging the 50 pound dumbbell. Your muscle doesn't know the number that's on the dumbbell. Your muscle only knows the stress that it's under. So there are a lot of tips that we can go over with you here that uh, is going to help you choose the correct weight and help you understand that you're working the muscle properly to trigger growth, okay? Just as Kyle said, you wanna make sure that your first indication is that you're engaging the muscle first to make sure it's firing properly and that the main focus is all on that muscle. So in regards to what muscle you're doing, make sure that's the one that's the focus and you're engaging it first. Second indication is making sure that you can control the negative. If you can't control the weight on the way down, it's too heavy. You know, basically you're using momentum to control the weight instead of your muscles. So you always wanna make sure that you can control the negative. One great tip that I usually give to all my clients is making sure that during the negative, they'll do a one or two second count. That's to ensure that they're using their muscles to control the weight the entire time. So the third indication that you're working the targeted muscle group properly and that you've engaged it from the start that you've chosen the right weight is after your set, you need to evaluate the all revered muscle pump, okay? Um, you need to understand that the muscle pump, okay, is an indication that adequate and sufficient blood flow has entered that working muscle to help trigger growth. If at the end of, for instance, a working set of bicep curls like we have here, or triceps, if you're doing arms or whatever, and you're done your set, and you don't feel that muscle engorged with blood, and you don't feel skin stretching as you're moving your actual arms up and down, you know you haven't engaged, I don't care, if you have two plates of 45 on either end, if you don't feel that after the set, you're not triggering maximum growth. It doesn't matter how strong you are. That's why some guys look very, very skinny that lift a lot of weight, whereas a guy you know, that may be lifting 30% less looks bigger, fuller, and more muscular. That's also the reason why certain power lifters look the way they do, where they're throwing up tons and tons of weight, but their results don't indicate that amount of weight. So there is a conscious decision that you have to make at a certain time in your training career, whether or not you wanna train for physical muscular development and size, 
or if you're going to be one of those guys that is completely concentrating on strength. There is a, there is a combination in there, and yes, muscle size does help with strength, but they're not 100% related. So you do have to be conscious of that, and you do kind of have to make that decision for yourself if your overall look and your overall size is more important than the number on the barbell. If it is, then these are tips that are really, really going to help you get to that goal that you're after. So as an example, Kyle's going to be doing barbell curls here. Now, his goal here is to put on size, so he's going to be choosing a weight that's going to put the maximal load and force those muscles to grow with appropriate uh, stimulation on the muscle. Now, Kyle could easily do, you know, 245s on each, on each side, but that's not going to stimulate growth. He's choosing a weight that's going to uh, put the maximal load, and you can see him here applying all the three tips that we just gave you. Awesome, I hope you apply these three tips and I hope these three tips are very, very useful for you because you have to use them if in fact you wanna reach your maximal physical development goals. Um, if you, know, you so choose that strength is the most important thing, that's cool too, but at least now you have the choice and you know exactly how to go after what you want. Cool, hope that helped.